you know what? Hi guys, I was just like, I'm in this really strange point in my life when I have no idea what to create and how to, like, which path to follow, I just don't know. And the only thing I know is that I have to listen to my heart, do the things I have to, stay on track and just never give up. So what I'm showing you today is what I got for Christmas. Um, a quick disclaimer. Um, I believe Christmas is all about spending time with the loved ones. It doesn't matter if it's family, friends or just yourself until you are happy and you find joy in the things you do on Christmas. That's what matters. And also if you don't celebrate Christmas, that's also fine until you're fine with it. Um, okay, that's it. And um, I'm going to be showing you what are my thoughts on my Christmas present because I also believe that not all Christmas presents are perfect, no one is and we have the right to make mistakes ourselves. I'm not one of those YouTubers or like people in general who will be like oh all the things I got are amazing and I'm so thankful like I couldn't wish for anything else because there are things that I wish for like from way months, years, many years back but I think it's also important to be happy for what you get at a certain point in your life it doesn't matter if it's a materialistic thing or if it's an adventure if it's, or if it's just a lesson all of it matters and that's like the most important thing okay, on to my presents um, so I got these brush heads from Oral-B uh, this is the fact that I have their toothbrush, the electric one. Um, I needed those and I actually bought four, uh, four heads already like a week or two ago when I was in Zakopane. Uh, but still, I got it for Christmas and I have no idea how Santa knew that I'm in need of them, but somehow he did and I'm very thankful because they are a pain in the ass because they cost so much money and when I don't have the money, like when I have the money, I prefer to spend my money on food than on brush heads. Another thing from the domestic world uh, that I got is a nail brush. This one is 100% made of wood it's from the place called The Body Shop that is well known. Um, and I'm very thankful that I got it because I hate the plastic ones. I believe this thing can last for a very long time. I already had like the uh, big brush to massage your back and the whole body under the shower, but I unfortunately left it at Mazuri when I was with my family there. Anyway, this is a very cool thing to buy someone. It doesn't cost a lot. It's a great thing. It's good for your hygiene, it's good for to massage your um, nails and um, fingers, and it's also eco-friendly. Okay, another thing, unfortunately wrapped in plastic, but still I was planning on buying it myself, but thanks to Santa I got it. I'm not really good at skincare and like self-care itself, like that's something that I'm lacking. Uh, mostly in my life and that's why when it comes to other people giving you gifts or I mean Santa giving you something special it's very important to like let him know that you're this kind of person that is like has a problem with uh, finding time for themselves and that they will it will be a great gift for you to just have this help and get this one thing that will motivate you to just spend this uh, 30 minutes a week to just relax, enjoy the moment and take care of yourself. And this is the one of those things that will help me clean my skin, moisturize, um, exfoliate and also just spend this time with myself and really show myself some love. Another thing I picked up myself uh, is some Instax film. Uh, there are 10 sheets in it and it's always a great idea to uh, buy some Instax film even though I truly believe in the zero waste lifestyle I still um, do 
in sex photos as you can see even the ones that didn't work out I have on my wall displayed and to be honest I didn't have it on my wall for a very long time but I was waiting for the right moment when I will be just ready to I will just have the time and the space to display it and it's also important to make art out of even the things that aren't supposed to be art. Like this is just some rubbish and instead of putting it into trash uh, and wasting it, I reused it and that's beautiful. So if you are looking for a present for a person my age or just like a artistic soul, Instax film is the go-to. Another beautiful thing I got is something I was like waiting for for like I was hoping to get it one day but I never like I never I never feel like this is something to do with yourself and when it comes to me I never buy for myself because I don't want to spend money on myself. So this is a deodorant. Deodorant. I don't know how to pronounce this word, but this is a deodorant in deodorant, the de deodorant. Oh my god, this is a deodorant in um, glass jar. It's very small. It has a beautiful, refreshing smell to it. It's it's called Schmidt's natural natural deodorant bergamot plus lime. Warm a small dab between fingers and apply. This is such a great thing. So to be honest, for like the past half a year, I think I think the last time I used a deodorant or antiperspirant, whatever they are called, like the chemical shit you put under your armpit, um, I think it was around the matura time when I was having my final exams, and since then I was just doing the natural thing. To be honest, I'm okay with myself. Like. I'm, I was brought up in a family where when you smell you just wash yourself and change and no one cares, like no one will judge you for the fact that you get sweaty and you need to change or just refresh yourself and that's like how I've been living, living. that's how I've been living for the past 20 years of my life so it's just normal for me to be okay with the fact that we all sweat, that we all smell and this is just a part of our natural path in life and I totally accept it and I'm totally into it mm. and I was a bit strict about not really into buying any kind of product to go under my armpits I was also like I heard a lot of bad um, things uh, that maybe those kind of things aren't actually tested and there isn't enough study to do uh, with it. I'm not sure if I will find some information on that I will link it below. I came to a realization that I love sport and I love feeling also quite attractive dur during my um, workouts and when you smell so bad. I'm not saying that I'm like you know you just smell during your workouts and that's like a beautiful thing because it means you're healthy and you get all the toxins out of your body but at the same time if you get to smell like a lime or a bergamot, why not? Another thing I got are two tickets to Cinema City um, a theater or a cinema, whatever you want to call it um, and this is also a great thing uh, to be honest, for those who are interested in my lifestyle, I would prefer to get just these cards. But it's also always beautiful to get a nice card that means like I'm also aware that people that give presents want to feel appreciated. And I really appreciate the fact that I got it in a um, beautiful wrapping. But I'm just saying that I would be totally fine with having it not wrapped just like the minimal waste possible but that's just my personal preference another thing i got is a beautiful bottle water bottle reusable eco-friendly plastic free or of course it's made of plastic but it encourages us to not use plastic water bottles and uh when i was on my way out of the um like a um 
shop where you buy like TV stuff and electronics. I was at the Casa. I was just like getting out and I, I realized that I just realized that this is something I really need and again I wouldn't have bought it for myself if it wasn't for Christmas time and as I already mentioned I bought a few of those presents for myself and I'm so thankful I did because if I didn't this Christmas wouldn't be as meaningful for me I also believe that Christmas is as I already mentioned like all about you making yourself happy and showing not only love to others but also to yourself and by buying the bottle for myself I showed myself so much love another thing I'm um, I'm a traveler I travel a lot for work and I just it's very convenient to have this kind of water bottle that you can carry around everywhere and uh, you can it fil filters any sort of dusty water for you no matter where you are in the world but for me the most important thing was that I can just put it in my uh, backpack when I'm going skiing with kids and I can just pop it under the sink and just pour in some water from the tap and that's just amazing um, also a quick story to do with the things I used to do when going skiing for example for the last Ushita uh, for the last camp ski camp I just took my big um, like Zbanek a big dzbanek to filter my water and I was carrying it around everywhere I mean not everywhere but I have to take it to Zakopane and then leave it in my room and it stayed there for like few hours every single day and I was like skiing so I couldn't filter my water there I just had like one bottle of water a day uh, while skiing and after like four days of skiing without as much hydration as I normally get on a daily basis I had such a horrible headache at the end of this Ushita that I was just like <sighs> why? yeah so I'm thankful for that because this will help me stay hydrated and save the planet cheers and also I have already seen that um, there is a bigger version of it so I'm so happy and I will get it and maybe this will go for my younger brother Yashu Kohabjen okay on to the not so meaningful gifts um, long story short um, my family is more of a com consumeristic type uh, in which value isn't as important of course it all depends from the member of the family but I have those kind of members in my family especially the elderly people who just don't um, understand my point of view on certain things and are just not as passionate about certain topics as I am and for example they aren't as passionate about shopping as I am and I believe shopping is um, is in a way to um, kill your emotions and move on in life it's more uh, in order to make yourself happy but also make other people happy shopping exists in order to get the things we need and in order to zaspokoić nasze potrzeby I have no idea how to say it in English now, I'm very sorry and due to the fact that it doesn't work always the both ways the rec receiver and the giver uh, aren't always like at the same point and aren't aiming the same thing uh, then I end up with those kind of things okay so this is a beautiful bag that I would never wear and this is not the first time I get those kind of things every single year for Christmas and I have no idea how to like talk to those people and I'm not saying there's something wrong about my family members I'm just saying this is normal I'm sure everyone has those kind of problems that they just get all these crazy things in life and even though they say like look I'm a minimalist and I just 
wear one Kalkan backpack the whole year for several years straight or I just have one toiletry bag or one pencil case it still doesn't matter because until it fulfills the person that is giving it to me I'm okay with that even though they are I think aware I am not as happy as I could be but sometimes certain things don't get to people and they just don't get like my point of view I think <sighs> so this will go to donation um, even though today I was telling my family member that gave it to me that um, my point of view on consumerism and high quality stuff it just didn't click so <laughs> okay and this is a beautiful toiletry bag or a pencil case that is covered in some fake leather and as you know I love fake animals so <laughs> I'm so happy for that and maybe some people would wear this kind of thing but at a point in which I'm just like so much into like minimalism and white everywhere and just like not owning just for the sake of may maybe using in the future I just don't want to have it because I know it won't bring me any joy when I will be using it I will be more like happy to finally use it in order to not waste it and just give it a one chance but I don't want to use it so this goes to donation if you want it hit me up Another beautiful gift I got. A set of protection. Oh, is, there is no English. I can read you in Polish. Komplet ochraniaczy. Noszenie ochraniaczy jest zalecane do jazdy na rolkach, hulajnodze i deskorolce. Okay, so these. This is just a set of um, gear to, uh, if you are a skater, a um, skater or a scooter rider I have no idea what these people are called and I don't do any of these this is just not needed and I would love to give it to other people in need um, so let me know again if someone needs those kind of things because I really don't and I would love to spread some love to someone um, okay on to my another category okay so another thing I got is something very meaningful those two things that I will show now are very meaningful and this is just beautiful that someone made such a big research to just give me something that is so unconventional so I got this vegetarian calendar for 2019 and it says veggie is the new sexy all models are vegetarian or vegan. All apparel is cruelty free. Photographed by Roland Ocon. That's like such a cool thing. I don't want to show you the photos because I believe, I think it's not allowed on YouTube. I'm not sure. Like there are all the things inside are naked, which is cute because I'm all about the natural beauty and like the, the plant and the women itself, I'm an equalist, another fun fact about me, I believe that everyone is equal, and yes, um, this is, thank you Sana for this beautiful gift, I will put it on my wall somewhere when 2019 will arrive, the penultimo gift, I wasn't sure if I wanted to talk about it, but due to the fact that I, again, want this video to be more of a storytelling and explaining that no one is perfect and not all the gifts we give people are um, strzałem w dziesiątkę um, we just have to embrace the fact that we are just human and we have the beautiful ability to talk and have the conversation and have um, the strength of accepting failures but also accepting someone's attention and someone's uh, I got this very cool thing which is a backpack made out of paper it's a reused paper 
and it's a bag but you can convert it into a zaino that's a backpack here it is and when I first saw it I was so amazed I was seriously so thankful that someone took so much research and time their personal time in order to get something this cool for me but unfortunately after a time I have just realized that this is there's just too much going on and even though I love this thing and I'm very grateful for it I could leave it and be fine with it but it wouldn't be as used as the products that are available on their site it's from the brand called Pot Pot um, Pot Pot and it's a Polish brand and it's eco-friendly and it's very minimalistic even though you can't really see it but it's really really cool and I found some beautiful pieces on their site and I have talked to Santa Claus and he told me that it's okay for me to return it I was brave enough to ask if it's possible because after a bit of thinking I just have realized that as I already mentioned this is something I find very beautiful but it's not my style and if there's any way to make me more happy and if it's possible then I would love to um, do it and it is possible so I'm just very happy Santa is so caring and so loving because this is what Christmas is about another thing I wanted to mention so Christmas isn't only about receiving it's also about giving we can give a lot of things but it's also about being creative and making unconventional stuff so what I got for my loved ones were the bamboo toothbrushes and I got those just because I've been using mine I think I got mine also for Christmas time around the Christmas time last year and I had only one and as I already mentioned I'm using my electric one now but most of my family uses the normal ones and I just can't look at the amount of plastic that is being wasted and I think more and more my family is like being ready to change certain habits in their everyday routines and they are really conscious and they want to learn more and more about the world that is surrounding them and it's just very happy like I feel um, very happy in my heart and my small heart that people are just getting more and more motivated to make a big change and a beautiful meaningful impact on our planet uh, and it's a small thing that costs it's the cost of one coffee that is worth a lot of trash like this is a big change for our planet and this is the big change in our game so this is a cool thing to buy your parents your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, this is your granny, whoever you want to buy it for. I bought many of these for this Christmas and I think this is something that has re represented me um, as a person but also has, I think, gave some motivation to become better to others. Um, and it's also wrapped in paper, I just wanted to show you. Um, so I'm just happy and another thing I got or I made with my um, siblings uh, were some Christmas songs yes. Dancing and prancing in Jingle Bell Square In the frosty air Driving home for Christmas Snow is falling all around me Children playing, having fun 
happy with how they turned out and they were very dope and everyone was very happy to get those kind of meaningful gifts that captures the our voices at this certain time especially due to the fact that my younger brothers there's like a big gap here between us so it's just beautiful how our voices will evolve during those years and I would love to continue this tradition in the future okay thank you all for watching I think this is it oh my god I'm so sorry this isn't it there's one more thing I got for Christmas I'm sitting on it and wow I couldn't be more grateful to have this beautiful bed finally here relax and uh, to be honest I'm a rebel and I shouldn't be like sitting on this bed because it should be like um, resting for 72 hours un untouched but I just can't do it anymore like it stayed for 24 hours already and wait oh my god oh my god 72 hours I thought that these are like two days, but then, wait, send it. Three days? What? Oh no, I thought that I will, can maybe like, Oshukat system, and maybe I could sleep here today because it's my last night at home before I leave. But now I'm just realizing that I think I have to sleep somewhere else because this has to unfold properly and I don't want it to be ruined. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had such a beautiful Christmas and I hope I have inspired you to talk to your parents, to your relatives, to Santa Claus and just say the truth, speak the truth and not be scared of judgment. Christmas is all about being happy and just being yourself. Um, do what makes you happy, but don't treat others like shit. I'm Mary SDR and this is my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you would like to see more content. Um, check out my Instagram and we will see each other in three days. Bye! Merry Christmas!